Hey everyone, today I wanted to rank all of the current TCM family members from worst to best. There are five members of the family currently, these being Leatherface, Cook, Hitchhiker, Sissy, and Johnny. Each character comes with a unique ability to help you defend the map you are on. What I want to do for this ranking isn't rank the characters by strength, because, well, I don't think that'll work. This game is far too situational, and much of the time maps or victims you face will determine the ideal family setup. What I do think is more beneficial is ranking them by how useful they are, in order to determine the worst and the best. In most of your games, how useful will each of these characters be? This will be a highly subjective list, particularly due to it being so early in the game's life cycle, but hey, I like ranking things. I by no means think I have the perfect answer here, so be sure to share your own thoughts thoughts too, down below. The least useful and worst family member in my opinion is Johnny. Johnny's ability allows him to track footprints. He finds a footprint on the ground, he can spend a brief animation picking up the scent, then he is able to see the path the person took that left them. This ability however is only viewable to him, which I think is Johnny's biggest issue. He can, at times, lethally track down victims with use of this ability, but not only does it take quite a while if the victim ran far, but it also doesn't directly notify your team. Aside this, Johnny has little going for him, and he primarily relies on his higher damage and endurance to be useful. Unlike Bubba, the other high damage character though, he can't counter any of the ways victims have of evading. He can't crawl through tight spaces, and he can't break those barbed wire benches. Because Bubba is a required character, and because damage is also Johnny's greatest strength, you kind of don't need him most of the time. The ideal combination in my opinion being a tracker and a trap character. Unfortunately, Johnny's tracking is almost always less useful than Cook's. Sissy mainly benefits from being one of the best chase characters and blood collectors. She's incredibly good at being annoying and slowly wearing victims down in chase until she catches them. Her ability is poison. She can spray it into the air in a cloud, which lingers for a while and will stun and distort victim vision, and further make it harder for them to move. One benefit too is it highlights the affected victim to the team, which can be helpful. Sissy has additional abilities like being able to poison valves, fuses, and other key items. If her ability is leveled, she's also able to poison things like the car battery. She can also trap things like healing bottles. You're able to get more poison by going to nearby mortar and pestles that are scattered throughout the map. She suffers mainly in damage, although this can be altered with skill points and some perks. I find she is best used as a blood collector, playing to her strengths. She can quickly level Grandpa in a matter of minutes. She is also often favoured as a chase character, due to her poison ability disrupting fleeing survivors, and her ability to get through small gaps. One thing I've definitely found is Sissy is highly powerful when sticking close to another family member, making it extremely difficult for victims to escape. Leatherface is in a unique spot because he's literally required to be part of your team on the family side. I would debate in some ways that he should be exempt from this list due to this. Bubba provides high damage and his chargeable chainsaw power, and the ability to break the barbed wire benches. I'm not entirely sure what those things are called. <laughs> Bubba also has the benefit of beginning in the basement, where he's able to instantly pressure and often even remove victims from the game very early on. His primary downsides are the ability to dodge him by squeezing through gaps, crawl spaces, or climbing ladders. Bubba is able to deal considerably high damage when he charges his chainsaw. He can also enter a sprint when reaching the higher end. If you miss whilst your chainsaw is on the higher end of its charge, it can be stalled. It can be revved back up though in a few seconds, and is hardly a downside. Bubba is a very good chaser. Even though he can struggle sometimes in areas, there's also plenty of areas where you can do well with him, or utilize mind games to force survivors out of gaps. Bubba has high damage, high endurance, and an average blood collection. Hitchhiker is very useful to a team due to his similar ability to Sissy to traverse gaps and crawl spaces but also for his slightly higher damage and stamina over Sissy. He has access to three bone traps. These traps can be placed almost anywhere, but are best when focused on one, preferably popular, exit, where they can act as tripwires to alert you of escaping victims. They inflict small amounts of damage, but shine mainly in stalling victims and alerting you and members of your team. When a survivor is caught in a trap, they have to escape it with an action, or instantly do so, which requires a bone shard. These 
straps can be removed and reset at will. I like to use two on a battery and one of the doors toward a battery, as that's typically where you spawn as him, then a final one on an important loop. Hitchhiker is great because he can slow both speedy players and slow players alike with traps. His ability to chase is also very great, he is the character that gets the closest to being able to never lose a victim in a straight chase, whether there be gaps and whatnot in the way particularly with the right perks. Cook, I believe, is currently the most important member to have on a team. He provides accurate and frequent tracking with his ability to hear survivors sensitively through walls, and also has the ability to lock off areas, having access to three locks, which can be applied to any door. These locks can make otherwise easy to escape maps like Gas Station, give the family a decent chance of defense. Whilst Cook isn't a good chase character and is debatably the worst of the five, he doesn't necessarily need to be a good one. As he fulfills the track and defense role, the other two on your team are able to easily pick up the area of damage, with most other characters being able to deal a good amount. With this said though, whilst Cook can't chase all too well, he can deal a decent amount of damage, having good base values. He can mainly linger around the center and check exits when needed, pinging victims and getting primarily Bubba to chase people down. His power is great in the early game for that reason, particularly if the victims go for a full-on rush, as you can hear the running victims. He's also a solid blood collector, making him perfect for defending the main area of the map providing information and slowly building up Grandpa, scanning in between Grandpa's screams. Well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to let me know your thoughts too. I'm interested to hear what you all think. This game has been a ton of fun to play this past week or so, and I really look forward to seeing it develop over time. Thanks, and goodbye.